Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Sujata Kavluri and today in this video you are going to learn what are the best practice steps to be followed to improve your handwriting. If you are watching my channel for the first time, do subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now let us see what are the best practice steps to be followed to improve your handwriting. Handwriting is the first impression and when you write any exam, handwriting plays a major role in getting in scoring good marks. Pen. What type of pen you are using? That shouldn't disturb you and it should be very comfortable to write continuously for two to three hours. Right? And yesterday someone asked me in a comment that he is unable to write properly in a line, in a straight line. Straight line means if he is starting here and the line is going this way or this way to down. Many students face this problem. The line doesn't go straight horizontally. Okay. So it may go up but it, or it may go down if it is not rule paper, if it is white paper, right? And to avoid that, there is very simple tip for you how to overcome this. Anna? See this, this is new paper that what you are writing. Yeah, this is the white paper you are going to write on this and uh, to avoid that cross lining either going up or coming down. No, take a pencil, okay, just you mark here, not at the top, just down and with the same distance you give a mark here, with a pencil and here, here, next here, here, three enough. This works amazingly, you never go up or you never come down because here when you start, Seeing this one, you, you try to go to towards this. You try to write towards this. Right? So, you cannot go up or you cannot come down. Very simple method. Very best method you can practice. While writing on white paper. Any exam or any notes. The students who are suffering with this problem. Just follow this. Give a mark with a light mark enough. That shouldn't be visible. That's what I said to give a mark with pencil, not with pen. So three marks enough. Okay. Follow this method and write straight. Next. Most of you are English medium, right? So except the languages, the remaining all will be in English. So while writing English, you have the, the flow should be free. That shouldn't be, you shouldn't take so much time. Intermediate people suffer a lot. They used to ask me, Madam, the time is not enough. Even though I know the answer, I was unable to attempt in the exam. Cause, no, not enough time. This is the second step. Follow this and you will surely get fast good handwriting. Your handwriting improves for sure. Right? Give the lines from down to up short lines with the equal measures measurement now you see equal lines and short lines from down to up straight lines you need to practice this way from down to up short lines and next one is the horizontal lines as fast as possible Next one is the circles, equal circles, okay and the next one is half circles, that way and facing this way too. And next ovals.
okay if you practice all these horizontal lines vertical lines circles half circles with the facing both the ways and ovals your handwriting improves for sure okay and you can write as fast as you can this is the second step keep on watching and now the most important point is the third one okay and while writing you need to remember the body of the letter should be equal okay now i'll write pledge you see am proud of its rich just observe these sentences carefully india is my country i have written here now whenever you write india that should be bold letter the starting letter i you should never write india wherever you write whenever you write you shouldn't write i small letter even with the personal pronoun i should write only capital letter bold letter right india see this is capital letter and the remaining no you see when you write, when you give a line here up one line and down one line that should be equal unless the body is equal see what is the body is i went up na my country see country that somehow this went this way but it is straight okay again the indians are the the body of the letter should touch the up and down lines means if it is a white paper that should be equal when we give a line that should be equal right this is very important step important point to be remembered sisters see sisters so you do one thing randomly pick any paragraph right and write yes you write as usually just you write a paragraph nearly of 10 15 lines then you observe this way give the lines up and down b r o t h e r s brothers i i just written like that na just give a line to this one how it comes that went like that H C. In a fast way, now when we write, that looks that as though it is good writing. But give a line, then you could identify how far it is good. Got it. And so, randomly pick any paragraph, write for ten to fifteen lines, and just to observe this way, then you can easily identify what are the mistakes you are making while writing English. Right. So, this is very important step. every one should follow this one if you follow this you will get beautiful handwriting and in this only the fourth one fourth point maintain a finger distance finger distance means capital o should be enough here give the o is enough and between every word if it is enough for the capital o then your handwriting is good this Three and four steps are third one and fourth one are very important while writing English. Finger distance between the words and the body of the letter should be equal. How you keep your book? If you are a left hand writer, that should be the edge should be pointed to the right. This edge, the paper, the book edge should be towards right side. And if you are a right hand writer, the edge should towards the left slightly left this is the right hand and this is the left hand okay the angle is very important if you keep straight you won't get handwriting see keeping straight this way we will, we will not get keeping it if it is a book as it is a board it should be it will be right you can't turn it slide right and left if it is a book then that should slightly turn if you are a right hand writer that should be slightly turned towards left the edge should be towards left or if you are a left hand writer the edge should be towards right side got it 
and the grip also should be free with the three fingers okay and the, you shouldn't hold two front or two back right these are the five steps to be followed to get good handwriting the vertical and horizontal bars circles half circles and the ovals they should be equal in size and if you practice it so fast then your handwriting becomes fast right and the third point is very very important third and fourth also and if you follow these five steps you can surely uh, improve your handwriting and practice them well and get good handwriting hope this video is helpful to you and see you in the next video with another best topic till then bye bye